This video will highlight the Tecla TED's retaining wall analysis and design calculation to the American Concrete, Masonry and International Building Codes. The analysis input parameters are specified using the buttons. Stability preview results and a live sketch are also shown. Retaining wall details allow you to define the geometry. The height and angle of the retained soil can be specified, along with the soil cover and excavation depth in front of the stem. The stem type can be specified, along with its overall dimensions. The stem type can be cantilever, inclined or stepped. If a cantilever stem type is selected, you specify the stem height and thickness. If an inclined stem type is selected, you also specify the inclined slope. If a stepped stem type is selected, you specify the number of steps along with the height and thickness of each step. We will use a cantilever stem type in this example. You can specify the base dimensions and include a key if required. You can also include the presence of any water. A prop can be specified at the stem, base or both base and stem. Soil details allow the analysis method to be considered and whether to include a seismic design allowance. You can also specify the bearing pressure method to be adopted and the retained soil and base details. The loading button allows any surcharge load and line loads to be included. Once a line load is defined, you can add further loads, or edit and delete existing loads. Calculation options set the load combinations, and the analysis options to be considered. Use the analysis options button to specify the material densities, pressure coefficient, bearing pressure distribution method, and stability check options. User-defined stability options allow you to include the restoring effect of surcharge and whether to include the active pressure on the key and passive pressure of soil. Stability preview results are shown along with a factor of safety and a pass or fail status. If anything fails, the failures can be reviewed and amendments made to the input. You can opt to perform an analysis only, or an analysis and design. The design can now be carried out. Set the stem construction type, and the input options change to suit the selection. The sketch also updates. Concrete and masonry details buttons, when applicable, allow further input details to be specified. Material and concrete details, along with cover to reinforcement can be specified. Design options allows you to specify the concrete design code and any additional design positions along the step. Preview results for the chosen design section are shown along with the specified reinforcement and a pass or fail. If anything fails, the failures can be reviewed and amendments made to the input. Use the design section list to design the remaining regions. You can view the underlying analysis model for the chosen combination.
Once you are satisfied with the input and preview results, you can choose the output options. Confirm the information and your design and the calculation output is written to the document. The calculation title, input geometry, concrete and steel properties, loading details, analysis calculations and the design location calculation checks are all laid out in a clear and concise format.